Okay, this is my aquaponics setup. I thought I would make a video to show you exactly what's going on here. So, uh, this is a shift piss system, which means uh, constant height in fish tank. That's the fish tank there. The height of that will never actually change. Power goes out, I don't lose any water. And pump is in the sump tank down here. So this is where all the water circulates from. Uh, this line here is where the water goes out and it gets sent down that distribution pipe network over there um, to the both to the grow beds and to the fish tank. And what we have back here is we have two drains which come from both of those fish uh, both of those grow beds. So this is a grow bed. Water kimp comes in over there. This is what. 600 litres of gravel in here, it's quite heavy, um, and we've, we've got a drain here which is a mechanical drain, it's called a, 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 a auto siphon, it's a mechanical system, no moving parts, and I don't know if you can see down there, but you can see the water level coming up, this one's a couple of minutes away from, from firing, so we've got some pipes running down there, this is the other bed, and we've got pump system here, oops, alright, so that's, I can regulate the flow through there, um, so the water starts in the sump, gets pumped out to the, to the grow bed, it takes about 15 minutes to fill this one up, uh, water level will slowly rise up to here, and that pipe in there, once it reaches a certain point, it's going to trigger a siphon, and that siphon is actually going to rapidly suck all of the, the water back in from there into the sump down there. So I mean what the system is, is there's going to be fish over there, they poo and the, the, the ammonia back into the water through their, their gills. Uh, that's that's a, a solid lift outlet that collects the poop and stuff off the bottom of the tank. That's going to come through this big system here into this radial uh, flow filter. Oh, water comes into this chamber here. Uh, this shroud here stops the water from going into the output. The shroud will, will make the, uh, the heavy solids actually sink to the bottom and once in a while we turn this tap off on here and we suck all of the crap out of the bottom. So the clean water gets skimmed from here back into there. So we're sending nutrients from the fish tank back into the sump and from the sump comes to the grow beds. The grow bed gravel, there's going to be bacteria living in the in the gravel which convert the uh, ammonia in the water to nitrites and then from nitrites to nitrates. The, the, the plants will consume the nitrates cleaning the water. So these two gravel beds are actually my fish tank filter. And that's how it works, it's a closed system. All I need to do is feed the fish and hopefully with some sunlight and uh, the, the ammonia in the water, the nitrates, uh, I'll, I'll get plants and I'll get fish. So down here, I hope, we should be just about ready for the auto siphons to, to kick in. Like I said, it takes 15 minutes to uh, fill up and we're I mean, this water level you can see is right up near the top there. This one's about to go off any minute. So let's just sit here for a second. I'm sorry, this is going to be boring. What you're going to see is an avalanche of water come out of this, come out of this pipe. In, in hopefully, just a couple of seconds. So it's been running for 24 hours now. And I was very happy to come home from work today and see that the auto siphons had switched off by themselves. They, they switch on and they switch off. When, when they can't suck any more um, water out of the tank each cycle, the, the vacuum breaks and the siphon finishes and the water flow shuts off. So with any luck, we're about to see some action. And you can see this one is ready to start here. We're getting some more drips. Goes, 
So I've been building this system for, I pretty much started the week before Christmas. It's now second to last week of February. Followed some fantastic instructions from online. Made a few mistakes the same people that I copied made. Like uh, using these cheap PVC containers which came with glue in them. And as you can see, this is about to really take off now. And there you go. So draining the water back in here like this actually helps to aerate the water as well, which is critical for bacterial growth and for, for the fish, obviously. So yeah, like I said, I've copied the, the, this design off the web. Cray helped me a lot, picking lots of glue out. I couldn't get into the fish tank myself. Painted everything, cut everything. Thanks to Dad for lending me his tools. Um, now I have to start studying what to do next, which basically means, I think, researching what plants we want to put in. Of course, Asian leafy greens and some winter, probably start looking at some winter stuff. I still need to cycle the system, so it's still going to be about um, a month before I get the fish in. I need to organize some fish. But plants are ready to go in. Plants can go in now. So tomorrow we go looking for plants. Then I have to work out what kind of fish I want, hopefully trout, and what I'll be feeding them. Feeding them. So we're, we're getting there. It's been awesome fun. Okay, so this, this drain will actually run for about five minutes, so we don't have to watch the end of that. Um, there we go. So, yeah, any questions, I'll do my best to answer if you want to ask me. Great. See ya.